looking at the most entitled bridezillas. This lady went and started cutting up all the wedding dresses in the store just because they wouldn't give her a discount. She's like, oh, you're not gonna slash the prices? Well, let me slash this. I mean, who hasn't been there? You know, in the fit of rage, busting out scissors to like destroy something beautiful. I mean, most of us, it's like our bangs, but for her, it's a, a bridal store. Are they gonna make her pay for all this? Because I'm pretty sure this is gonna be even more expensive. I haven't seen this much rage from someone wearing leopards since like the Real Housewives in New Jersey. They're just letting her do it too? Oh no, now she's like going after like the mother of the bride outfits. You know where she's going wrong though? She's not going for the fringe, the tassels. That's the most fun part. I know she's being terrible and a total Karen. Why is this like kind of entertaining to watch? Like it's chaotic yet satisfying. <laughs> oh, Chair and just like sits down after, like completely unbothered. Like, where's my champagne, y'all? That was insane. I'm just finally making him commit, you know? Like, we're getting married now, or like, it's over. <gasps> this woman shows up at her boyfriend's job and demands that he marries her on the spot because she's like fed up with him not committing. This isn't just like an ambush proposal, it's like a drive-by wedding. She has a full wedding dress on, a priest to officiate, a maid of honor as a witness. Girl, you okay? Oh no. This man must be stressing. Woo! That friend is like unsupportive in the wrong ways. Nothing is romantic about forcing someone to love you. I mean, I kind of get it. He works at Target, so he probably has like super sweet discounts. JK, 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 JK. I hope he doesn't get fired over this. You know how you like go to Target with like the plan to like just get one thing and then you leave with a bunch of random things, you know, like a husband? Come on, I need some lip gloss. Oh no. It was just extremely hectic. I just mean, do it right because it's gonna end up popping out. I gotta get my shoes on. I gotta you get my Oh no, this is so stressful. Not even like worried about yourselves. Wait, what did she say? You guys are supposed to be helping me and you guys are like worried about yourselves. <gasps> She's giving main character vibes, but like in a bad way. You should be the main character of your own wedding, but like you're not the only character. She just said that in response to one of the bridesmaids saying they need to put their shoes on. Oh, you want her to show barefoot? What do you want us to do? Like fluff this on? I need to see how it looks like if it's gonna like, you know, when the train falls or whatever. <gasps> She's like, I want you to, to imitate the wind for the train. She was making things up there. Like, I don't even think she needs any help. Quit breathing so I can breathe. Quit breathing so I can breathe. Girl, what? You're supposed to tell me when Mark's right there. Who's marrying this Where? person? <gasps> it's awful. If we get a divorce, it's gonna be because of your guys. So you're supposed to make sure that he doesn't see no, me. No, there's a divorce because of your you're terrible kidding me. attitude. What are you guys here for? First of all, how does this person have friends? Some of the most amazing people I know can't even get a text back. And this toxicity in a human being has a husband? Never be so hard on yourselves because remember, if this woman can find a partner, then you can accomplish anything. Hey, so we were just looking at the security camera and saw that you had two pieces of wedding cake. We announced that each guest must pay per slice. And then we noticed that you only paid for one. Can you please send the 366 ASAP? Wow. You gotta be joking me. Wouldn't you rather not deal with drama and potentially lose one of your friends for such low money? What's wrong with you? I love how these people are like, we just had the most beautiful day of our lives. Let's celebrate our love and commitment to each other by checking the security cameras to see who had extra cake. It's a slice of wedding cake. Who cares? Also, imagine being so paranoid that you even think to look through security cameras for this. Like, just don't have the wedding at that point. Gross. So my ex and my former best friend are getting married, and I'm credited on their wedding website with introducing them. But the catch is, I was dating him at the time. Yo! I would very much like to be excluded from this narrative. Yeah, obviously, I can't believe this. So you're saying that he cheated on you with your best friend, and now they're making you suffer? Just pouring salt in the wounds? And they're proud of it? They're just like telling everybody. How did you guys meet? Oh, it was so pure, so romantic. A fairy tale moment, you know? The audacity. I can't believe people like this exist. To those of you coming to my wedding, here's a list of gifts that you can bring. You must choose from the list or consult me first. There are no exceptions. So aggro. Okay. Let's see this list. One, any kitchen aid appliance over $350. This does not mean regular kitchen items. Okay, okay. Like <laughs> kitchen appliance is kind of standard. Let's see where this goes. Although it's like really pricey. Not everybody can afford that. Two, any Gucci or Louis 
Louis Vuitton purses. Other purses are allowed, but please consult me first. Wow, that's so considerate of you for allowing other purses. By the way, guys, like Louis Vuitton and Gucci, they're like thousands of dollars. This person is out, out of, of their, their mind. mind. Three, any clothes over $400 from Calvin Klein, Moschino, or Nora's. How is this for a wedding? Wedding gifts are like for the couple to like start their life together. Four, new floor tiles for the entire house. Brackets. I know this one's a bit of a stretch, but I'd gladly appreciate it. Are you gonna be kidding me? For the entire house? You know what I would love to do actually? Is say like, I'll do the tiles, but like I wanna surprise you and like get the whole thing installed and they're the most like hideous tiles ever. Somebody like this deserves that level of pettiness. Five, a new car or a new trim for my car or anything in relation to the car. This chick is asking for a new car? For her wedding. I think anybody asking for a car at any point in time is just like, so entitled. You good? They somehow totally missed number six. You'd think somebody so greedy would at least be good with numbers. But don't worry guys, they're being really nice because like, you know, if you can't afford a car, you can also just give them a $400 gift card to the places listed. They'll allow you to go somewhere else, but with written consent. Any high class paintings or decorations totally $400 or more. I don't think this person knows anything about High class. This is the most trashy thing you could like ask. How dare you? So as you can see, there are a lot of things on here. I'm expecting everyone to spend at least $400 on wedding gifts. I'll accept a slightly lower amount as long as you tell me first. Also, everything on here is first come first serve. Okay, that doesn't even make sense. Half of these things are gift cards and cash. How is there a limit? I hope nobody actually did this. Imagine hating your friends this much. Mine would fall right out of that. First of all, who even designed this? Also, like no one's gonna be looking at the bride. Is that what she wants? Now this bride also hates her bridesmaid. This is horrendous. I get it, they're comfortable, but I can't think of a single dress that these look good with. The caption of the story says, am I a bad person for picking popular, personally meaningful music for my funeral? Okay, I don't know what to expect. I am a stage four cancer patient and the doctors have given me about a year to live without treatment. Aww. And two years with treatment because of the huge difference in quality of life I've chosen not to do treatment. Guys, I'm already so sad and like so stressed out. Okay, I have anxiety about where this is going. Part of getting my affairs in order is planning my funeral. Okay, this is dark. I chose songs that meant a lot to me personally, but was told it'll ruin those songs for other people. Specifically, one of my friends, I'm putting that quotation marks in there, wants to use one of the songs at her wedding and doesn't want our mutual friends crying and thinking of me during her wedding. Oh. She thinks I'm stealing her moment. Bridezilla has just entered the chat. This woman is out of control. Your friend is dying. Let them have that song. Let their memory live on. If this was happening to my friend, I would most definitely intentionally be playing their song just because I love them. I want them to feel loved. I'm really torn by this. My wife informed me that our daughter, who will be three, will be wearing a white dress to the wedding. I was wondering if it was appropriate because I thought it was mainly brides and flower girls that we wear white. My daughter will be the only child at the wedding as she is the only grandchild from either family. To be considered, they asked permission. Now my wife is mad at me, calling me names, saying that I should have kept my mouth shut and not mentioned anything, and showed up to the wedding with our daughter rocking white. Now she's demanded the bride and groom pay for a new dress. Okay, let's talk about the most obvious thing that stands out. A grown woman is jealous of a three-year-old, a baby. The bride is out here thinking, the baby's out aging me and I obviously can't compete. The fact that you feel intimidated by a baby, you know, those things that literally poop themselves at any given moment. Like lady, if you feel that way, I think you got bigger problems. Also on the other hand, like, they should just like have the, the girl wear another dress. Like it's not worth the drama. I think the bride is being dramatic and ridiculous, but who cares? Pick another dress you already own, have her wear it. Bada bing, bada boom, drama over. Let the bride be the childish one. Okay, so the title of this is Giving Living Creatures as Wedding Favors. And I'm interested, but also terrified. I was maid of honor for my then best friend. Okay, it seems like this story has ended their friendship. It was a casual affair and she wasn't a huge monster like other bridezillas. With the exception of this one tiny thing. So the venue provided containers to use as centerpieces that the bride could fill with whatever she wanted. Did she want flowers, candles, 
pebbles, but no, she had a better idea. My ex friend was an animal lover, vegan, pita supporter, and she especially loved fish. Okay, where is this going? I'm scared. So she thought, oh my god, how cute would it be to have like a pair of goldfish in a globe as a centerpiece, real live goldfish to represent the couple on each table. That it makes 80 goldfish in total. 80. What is gonna happen to the fish after the ceremony? So the friend says, well, like, why doesn't everybody take them home after? You can't gift somebody something that's alive that they need to take care of without their consent. Not everybody's ready for that level of commitment. I'm not. I can barely take care of myself. I'm not ready to take care of goldfish. I'm just getting used to watering plants. Just because the bride and groom are making a commitment doesn't mean the rest of us have to. So the maid of honor says, well, like, what happens if the fish gets so stressed out and they pass away and they're just floating? That's not very appetizing or nice for the guests to look at during the wedding. She's right, that's terrible. To which the bride says, Well, that can be your job to clean them up. The audacity, this is so rude. How can you have such low emotional intelligence? As a bride, you're already asking a lot from your bridal party. Like, they're already doing a lot for you. It's stressful. They gotta go to the bachelorette party, which costs money, pay for their own dresses usually, which costs even more money, which are almost always hideous, I might add. Plan things, buy gifts. But they do it because they love you. But if you're making them scoop up dead animals, then you're taking it too far. You need to be dumped as a friend. But anyways, somehow this actually happens and the maid honor agrees to it. So she's forced the entire wedding to get rid of these fish. And at the end of the wedding, big surprise, nobody takes the fish home. So this story gets worse. I know, you're like, but how? The wedding venue needed their clothes back. So this poor lady has nowhere to put these 80 goldfish. So she goes and buys as big of a fish tank as she can get at a pet store. Because there's so many, she can't keep up with it. And literally all of them pass away in the next five days except for one. Which stayed alive for the next five years, which is longer than their friendship did. And apparently also longer than the bride's marriage did. The end. Did you actually know that goldfish can live up to 20 years? And they usually don't because they're not in like the greatest living conditions. So it's kind of really sad that this happened. I didn't actually know that until I did a video about fish and one of you guys let me know that. So thank you. It's so good to learn new things so that if I ever do have goldfish in the future, I know how to properly take care of them. When family tries to guilt trip you into letting them come to your fully vegan wedding, even though they're omnivores. Just for context, some family members were not invited to my wedding because we don't want to host murderers. What? This person is wilding out. Notice how they use quotation marks to describe some of their family members? You guys really disowning Uncle Rick because he loves Big Macs? That's cold. Just like the food you'll be serving at the wedding. Don't get me wrong, I have so much respect for vegans. But not ones who take it this far. Because all you're doing is making people not want to be vegan when you're being this terrible. But also, like, do you really want to go to a wedding where like the bride thinks that you're a murderer because you had chicken nuggets last night? I know I don't. Not related to fitness. Immediately interested. You got my attention. I have nowhere else to ask this, but would going on my bachelorette party by myself be weird? Like, ask the girls to pitch X amount of money they would have paid for their flight to even get where I am? Just for me to spend a weekend pampering myself? So you're asking instead of a bachelorette party where everyone could have fun at, if you could take the money from your friends and go to a spa. So basically you're like starting a Kickstarter for your own vacation that has like nothing to do with celebrating your marriage? Well, you wanted to know if this is weird and the answer is yes. Should you do it? Definitely not. Unless you're like trying to like have less people attend the wedding. <laughs> Why can't you just take yourself to the spa? It's called self-care for a reason. The word self is in there. You're supposed to do it yourself, for yourself, by yourself. Self-care. Also, I want to remind you that she posted this in a fitness page. I'm convinced she has one brain cell left. Anyways guys, uh, I can't believe people like this exist. <laughs> if you know somebody like this, I think you deserve better friends in your life. Don't give them the attention they want because they don't deserve it. And if you are one of these people, then please get therapy. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you all so much. Stay awesome, stay sweet, and don't forget to be natural. I'll see you in the next video.